under the tree, we need food, not tobacco. Among the many impact of tobacco use, economic impact is one of the most important impact that we see in, in our life. So there is a twofold cause of economic impact. One is the cause of tobacco use. When the user buys tobacco and the money spent is one of the cost, and also the amount, the funds that we spent by the government, by the individuals, to reduce the prevalence among the tobacco users is the twofold cause of tobacco use. When we want to quantify the economic impact of tobacco use, we divide it into three types. One is direct cause, one is indirect cause, and one is intangible cause. Let's look at the findings of Global Adult Tobacco Survey, 2016-17. It shows that 43% of adults in the age group of 15 to 16 years are tobacco users. That is way above the national average, and we stand fifth among the highest tobacco consumers in the country. And we find that Global Youth Tobacco Survey for 2019 shows that uh, school-going children in the age group of 13 to 15 years in Nagaland are tobacco users. That is 43% of school children, and if we segregate, 62% of boys and 28% of girls are tobacco users in Nagaland. So if we want to quantify the direct and indirect cause, it is a humanist uh, task. But as per WHO in 2011, it shows that the total economic cause attributed to tobacco consumption from all diseases in India for middle age group is 22.4 billion US dollars. And the indirect morbidity cost amounts to 3.1 billion dollars. And in India, males contribute 91% of the entire economic burden and the remaining accounted for few days. Studies have shown that the tobacco users among females mostly are smokeless tobacco users, that is SLT. It accounts for pan, tamil, and pan masala. And smokeless tobacco users accounts for 66% 66, uh, 66% of the direct medical costs among the females in India. So if we look at the direct medical cost, as per the WHO, in 2011, the direct medical cost that is attributed to um, the medical, uh, the hospitalization charges, the medicines, the test, it all accounts for 3.8 billion US dollars in India alone in 2011. And in 2018, it accounts for 5.8 billion US dollars in India. And in 2017, 18 study by the World Health Organization, India lost 1% of its GDP to diseases and barely that strong to that use. And the indirect mobility cost covering household income during hospitalization or outpatient visits accounts for 95, 957 million US dollars. And the indirect morbidity cost of premature deaths attributed to uh, tobacco use was 20.5 billion US dollars. We have direct and indirect cost, but what about the intangible cost that we have? Intangible, the direct and indirect cost affects families, but the intangible cost, it is mostly the suffering, the pain that the tobacco user, the patient feels, that is not uh, quantifiable. So this is also one of the important causes that of the tobacco use. In a humble attempt, the state cell conducted a pilot study in the year 2020. And we, we have data that shows that 43% of our Naga people in the age of 15 to 16 years, they consume tobacco. So in the, in the pilot study, we found that uh, Naga, uh, an average tobacco user in Nagaland who is very much addicted to tobacco spends on an average, a maximum spending is for manufactured cigarette, it's rupees 451.25, and for pan masala, that is what we call Rajnikanda or Shikhar, that is rupees 155, and on pan, it's rupees 160, tamil with kalasada is rupees 50, and kalasada is rupees 75. This is just an average attempt of uh, the cost estimate that we found.
the World Health Organization created World No Tobacco Day to draw the attention of the people about the epidemic and the preventable death causes because of tobacco. And accordingly, 31st of May is declared as World Tobacco Day. And as you know that this year, the theme is we need food, not tobacco. It means to raise an awareness about the alternative profit and that of tobacco. And opportunity should be given to the farming community to encourage them to grow other sustainable crops than tobacco. And uh, if you see the data, about 124 countries grows tobacco as a cash crop for the sustainability covering an area of about 3.2 million hectares of land. And approximately every year, two lakh hectares of land is utilized or cultivated for tobacco. As you know that cultivation of tobacco, growing of tobacco is affecting our health and the health of the farmers and the health of the planet. And because of that, the World Health Organization recently have teamed up with other like-minded United Nations organization and agency to help and to support the farmers by way of awareness, by way of financial assistance, so that they will give up tobacco cultivation and take it up other crops for the sustainability and for the welfare and the well-being of the human being. The impact of the tropical is dangerous for us. The tropical is the biggest cause of preventable death in the world. And about 8.2 billion deaths in a year globally is on account of tobacco. And even in our country, 1.3 million death means 10 lakhs, 30,000 death every year in, in, in India is because of tobacco. The death of tobacco is more than that of the death of COVID-19. So we should keep that in mind. And in the Northeast, if you see the data, 49% of the cancer, and that is 22% in women, and 49% uh, in men is on account of tobacco-related issues. And as a health secretary of the state, I am worried because recently more than 700 persons People are registered in hospital, detected as a cancer, and mostly all tobacco-related issues. So there is a worry on the part of our state also. And as rightly stated by the by uh, Nagaland State is the second highest tobacco use in India next to Mizoram. And if you see the age group of 13 to 15, Nagaland is the highest, consists of 43 percent. So here, as a citizen of this proud state, we need to discuss the issues. We need to not within ourselves, but all section of people should be involved. 
We depart from the Lord cannot do it. But the churches, the angels, the political willpower, all the people are required to be involved. And I'm so happy that the younger generation, they are our future. And until unless we give awareness in the minds of the younger generation, we don't see the brighter future. Linoka Lino has already stated, but I would like to give a little bit of the statistical data. As per the Global Adult Tobacco Survey, and the data we they have completed 15 years ago, on the basis of the annual expenditure by the state on account of tobacco, secret, if you take on the data of the population of 2021, and on the basis of the data we have collected, every year, on a couple of secret, we are spending 200 crores on a couple of secret. So if you take, okay, data is always on the higher side, so that we will take 75% of it, even then we are spending 150 crores on account of secret. Betty or Betty, you call it. So that accounts to 150 crores we are spending in just a region. Throughout Nagaland, in all the village, there is a shop. And every shop you will find tobacco product. So 150 crores annually. And if you take it in 75% of it, we are spending 112 crores. On Muslim tobacco is the highest, and I think that is uh, the product most of the lovers used to have. At times I used to feel that even inside the assembly, even inside the CM, uh, uh, you know, meeting, even inside the last power, even inside any official that sometimes we find it very incompetent as a head secretary of the state. So, Pan Masala Chakrabhu is 580 crores we are spending. If you take 73 or 75, 435. Tamul, Pan Tamul, we are spending about 502 crores on the count of time. So if you see the total expenditure by our people investing on tobacco is 1434 crores 81 months. And even if you take 75% of the data, we are spending 1076 crores 10 months. What a wastage of money that we are spending. If that 1,000 money is invested in education, if that 1,000 is invested in your own property, I think the amount that we are spending on tobacco could have been used for many other social economic development. And because of this issue, the government and the department, we have left with no alternative but to act upon. And for the last few months, we are acting and we are on the move. And that's why we declared on the on the you know on the 14th of April, we declared all the schools, government schools, private schools, all the college and the university in Nagaland was declared to be free zone. And that is implemented in natural history. Again, on 4th of uh, April, we had a meeting with the private doctor association and we have told them how can we expect the doctor and the nurses to visit the patient by having the tobacco related 
And we have declared all the private hospitals as a medical free with effect from 11th of April. And again, to on, the, on the 23rd of January, we have declared, 25th of January, we have declared all the government establishment, government hospital, health institution of the state, including the district office and directorate of health and family welfare as tobacco free zone. Let me bring to the client notice and let me request my honorable ch uh, children. You know, kindly, kindly be a tourist bearer, kindly be an ambassador to fight against this topic. <laughs>
people, people across the globe. Therefore, Therefore, I pledge, I pledge to, abstain to abstain from the use, from the use of, tobacco of tobacco and participate, and participate in the battle, in the battle against, it. against it. I pledge, I pledge to, spread to spread awareness, awareness about the hazards of tobacco. Of tobacco. I pledge, I pledge to live